This is Ben Blazard. I'm Carson Crusay. And this is Snack and Slack, the snack sized podcast all about snacks. So, Carson, why did you want to start a podcast about snacks? Well, I grew up listening to Mike and Tommy snacks, and I like food. Classic. Yeah. So, pretty much just like eating food. I get that. And uh, I think it's like one of our only common interests. Yeah, which is weird because we've been friends for a long time. But yeah, but I like music. You like cars, and that's basically it. So, <laughs> I mean, if I was boiled down to one thing, yeah, that's cars, fair. cars, <laughs> food, and cars. Yeah. So yeah, we. I mean, I w- I think most people would like eating food. In theory, you have to. I wonder if there's people who like eat food that are just like, well, got to get this out of the way for today. There definitely are. Have you ever seen a skinny person? <laughs> No, that's like uh, that's like people who are on like those extreme diets. Oh, like I have a friend who like would eat like plain almonds and like salad with no dressing. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about your wife and the gluten free. No, if I had to be gluten free though, I would be in a lot of trouble. So. I, c- I couldn't do it. I'd just be like, well, I guess I'm dying of whatever happens. I don't even know what happens if you continue to eat gluten and you're not supposed to. But that would be me. I would find out. I'd be a case study. Yeah. <laughs> that and lactose that would be very bad you have to drink yeah. like almond milk that'd, that'd be, be rough because i drink a lot of milk yeah i do too i used to not but now i now that i'm married and living in my own place for some reason yeah it comes in waves for me i i'll go through like drinking two gallons a week to like two gallons by yourself i mean like in cereal and like other oh, okay things, that's true it builds up that's like us with cheese at my house which we buy like a five pound bag of cheese and it lasts a couple weeks but it's like we use a little bit in everything. Hmm. But anyway, I like talking. I like listening to podcasts mostly. Hopefully that hmm. translates into uh, being able to record podcasts well. But That's the experiment. What, yeah, why do you want to record a podcast? Oh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just narcissistic enough to think thousands of people might care about my opinion on snacks. Okay. That's fair. I hope someone cares. I hope so too. I mean, if not... If not, let, let us know if you care. Write into us at snackandslack at gmail.com. Yeah, it's snack and then the letter N. Snack and slack, yeah. If I can remember the name of our podcast, that'd be great. Yeah, hopefully people can like get that just from the name of the podcast as they're listening to it. But Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, it'd be nice to know if anyone cares, right? But at very least, we could eat some snacks, so that's we win. My wife has told me she cares. <laughs> so I mean, I mean that might be her uh, obligation, but hey, maybe it's, she's. It's a small sample size, but the response has been overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> I feel like that's how most statistics are done, anyway. Yeah, you I took just... a statistics class. That's the only thing I learned is that they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. So anyway, should we dive into our snacks? Yeah. So today, for like the for the kind of our first episode or whatever, uh, we just both decided to kind of pick. Well, we said favorite snack. I don't know if this is per se my absolute favorite because it's kind of hard to pick a favorite snack. It's hard, it's really hard to pick a favorite. I get that. It's hard to pick a favorite anything because there's like all these different categories. Like sometimes you want like I have a favorite sweet snack maybe. Yeah. I have a favorite salty snack or whatever. Um, favorite midnight snack. Yeah. Favorite movie theater snack and road trip snack and those are different snacks and they will be different episodes of this podcast. <laughs> That's dang true. That's so true because so sometimes you're like running out the door and you get a snack because you need it to like, it's, it's like a utility. Like you need it to hold you over Mm -hmm. until you can get to lunch or whatever. And sometimes like something like a cliff bar, like that's kind of my favorite snack as far as like that type of thing goes. My breakfast snack where I don't have time for breakfast, but I eat it. Yeah. 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 Cause it's like fulfilling some sort of purpose. Um, but, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes you would just want something sweet or whatever. Um, and Absolutely. that's kind of in a whole different category, but anyway, yeah, I'm not sure I could classify this as my favorite snack, uh-huh. but the reason I chose it is because at other times I'll like get something in the snack aisle and as I'm like walking by, I'm like, Oh, I wish I would have gotten that, but it's, <laughs> it's too fattening and I don't want to eat that much food right now. Yeah. So I, it's always in the back of your mind. This might be the snack I lust after the most. Oh, oh, oh. oh. spicy. Besides my wife. Hey, <laughs> That's why we need we need to get like a soundboard that <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get that thrown in there. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think I think my snack is uh, it's it's definitely up there for me. And it's also like there's certain snacks that like are available everywhere, and this is kind of one of those. Um, yeah, I think mine's available. I can't imagine that it's exclusive to any one region. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and just to be clear, that we don't actually know what snacks that each one of us have. Uh, so I think in the future we might, you know, depending on whatever we'll do, maybe one snack or variants of the same snack. Like we don't really know for sure right now, but let us know what you want to hear. Yeah. We're always open to suggestions. Give us some snacks to eat. Oh, please give us some snacks to eat. <laughs> That's all we ask of you. That's, we just need people to tell us to eat food basically. So we have an excuse to eat food. Okay. Yeah. An excuse. I was going to say, I don't need anyone telling me to eat food. That's, That's I true. need someone to tell me to cut that crap out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've had enough food. You're done. <laughs> exactly. Actually, I, I wouldn't really like someone saying that to me. Um, okay. Uh, so should we, are you going to, whose snack are we going to see first? You can do yours first. Yeah, we can do my snack okay, first. Get yours first. All right. Let's see. I think it's on this side of the scarf, the, the snack scarf. Yeah. Um, I know it's a bag of something. I accidentally saw it, but I don't know what it is. So it is. It's like a. It's like a. I'm trying to pull it out and not reveal yours. Oh yeah. It's called a Hershey's S'more Crunchers. Okay, I've definitely never seen that before. You've never seen this before. It. No. I'm sure that from now on you will, like, it's like see the Mandela it. effect. You know, like now that you know about mm -hmm. it, you'll see it. Yeah. Um. It's like when. It's like the uh, the new Pixel phone or whatever. I hadn't really heard much about it, but then once I saw it, I started seeing it everywhere, and I was like, "Like, how do they? How, like, how is this happening? Is someone like tracking me?" But it's like, no, it was always there. I just didn't see it and attribute any like familiarity with it. That is the exact same thing that happened with the car I bought a couple of weeks ago. Never really paid attention to white Fusions, uh -huh. and now I see them. Everywhere, really, and I'm like, oh, I got a basic person's car. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Just I was kidding. Special. I actually really like it. <laughs> no, it's a nice yeah. car. But anyway, yeah, these uh, Hershey S'mores Crunchers are really just—they're portable s'mores that aren't gonna make your hands as messy. Don't get me wrong; your hands will still have some chocolate on them, but it's not like campfire s'mores messy. Yeah. No, these are interesting. Uh, do you ever have have, have clod hoppers? Do you ever? It sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever had them. Huh. Yeah, they're they're very similar to this because they're, yeah, little gram, uh, like, I don't know what you call those little, little gram bits, pieces. Uh, That's hard to call it a cracker when it's just small chunks of it. Yeah, gram it's like crumbs. a little dot. And they're like little marshmallow yeah. dots. <laughs> yeah, and it's just kind of like doused in chocolate and dried. Yeah, it's really good. I think you'll. Yeah, I, I think, think I will you'll like it. And it's kind of nice that I'm gonna open it. Okay. Uh, well, let's save that for like the tasting period. Oh, that's I true. Think the smell so, okay. of it will have a big. Okay, fact. so we're just. Are we gonna introduce both of them now? Yeah, let's introduce okay. yours. Okay, you can grab mine because you're a lot closer. Oh, that's true. Mine is so exciting. No one's oh, ever seen these before. Man. <laughs> so I just went with Kit Kat. It's uh, classic. You can't go wrong with a Kit Kat. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes classic is good. And I just, I think the reason I like Kit Kats is because they're kind of everywhere. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I think they're kind of my go-to. I don't, I don't really buy candy bars when I'm out and about. I just, I just don't. I don't know why. I do. I do a lot more than I should. Really? Yeah. I go I mean, to the gas station. Sometimes I'm at work, I'm, because I work right across the street from a Maverick. I, I work in the parking lot of a Maverick. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow, we have so much in common. And Apparently you friends. don't have the same demons as me. <laughs> <laughs> no, my demons are usually in the form of like energy drinks or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, those don't do it for me. Yeah. But sometimes they have a time and a place. Yeah, with uh, this jet lag I'm over, it definitely has its time and a place right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so should we? So we're going to have a couple different segments as we do this show. Uh, one of them is... The history of oh, the right. snack. Um, do you want to dive into that now? Yeah. Do you want to do your history first? Because your history is, uh, it seems pretty uh, long. Yeah, it, it's long. <laughs> uh, so I did some research into the history on this, mm -hmm. obviously. I did some hard research. I'm not saying like <laughs> second page of Google Research. No, you're not going to click the second page. I mean, what am I? The first page has everything you need. Exactly. 
But I mean, I scrolled to the bottom of that page. Yeah. And there's nothing. I could not find the year they came out. I don't think there's ever been an advertising com- campaign about them. I, I've never heard of them. Exactly. So instead, today, I'm going to break our rule about history. I'm going to break our rule about history. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just discuss my personal history with it. Okay. So this, the Hershey Crunchers brand actually has three different flavors. There's s'mores, Reese's, and cookies and cream. Oh, okay. No. I haven't had them yet, but I'm wondering if I'd like one of those other ones better. You won't. Curious. You won't. I, I won't. Okay. <laughs> Reese's are my favorite candy. I love Reese's. Anything chocolate and peanut butter, I'm freaking there for it. And but and I still chose the s'mores over this one. Okay. I think my sister first recommended these crunchers to me. And one night, my wife and I, Casey, we decided to take the dogs on a walk. And we walked to Maverick to get snacks because we were going to watch a new movie we just rented. Oh, and I might have say, if, if ever this gets like... You know, people from different places listen to this. Maverick is just like a, just like a really nice. It's like a convenience store gas station. Think of like a Piggly Wiggly, but nice. Yeah. So, anyway, we walked down to our local convenience store gas station, and I saw those, and I was like, "Oh, let's try this." And so, Casey said that she wanted to try s'mores, and I saw Reese's, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna get Reese's." Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. And. We decided to try each other's, and as soon as I tried Casey's, I just realized the s'mores are better. <laughs> There's no like, way around it. The s'mores are better than the Reese's. I don't think that's ever been said before in history. I know. I mean, I usually make my <laughs> s'mores with Reese's yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. No, we've done that here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah here we have. Yeah. <laughs> but I've experienced that in real life. Yeah, so, I mean, I recommend that everyone try them, but I, I would be surprised if People liked the Reese's better. Interesting. Interest. It is. This is why we need to follow. We need like a large following so that we can like do like statistical analysis. We need to know these answers. Yeah. This is a do. science. It is. I mean, snackology. Yeah. Snackologists. Yep. There's many snackologists that have paved the road for us. Shout out to Mike and Tom. I yep. mean, they really did lead the path in yep. this genre. And yep. there's no way to get around that. And hopefully they, they don't mind that we're trying to carry this torch. Yeah. I mean, snacks are for everyone, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyway, tell me about the history of Kit Kats. I imagine that there is some history of them. Oh, I did forget one thing. What's that? With the S'mores Crunchers, on the first page of Google, at least, can't, <laughs> you know, way can't back testify the to the archives. second page. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that pulled up when I searched for ad campaigns were cartoon commercials in the 80s about a certain cereal that was called like a s'mores cruncher. Was it like the, was it made by Hershey's or is it just like similar? I can't remember. Huh? But I mean, from what I can tell, it's still way different. I can't imagine that you could put this in a cereal because the chocolate, it's not like a baked chocolate. It's really like a melted down Hershey bar and then solidified again. Huh? Yeah. I'm I'm excited to try that. Yeah. Maybe. I'm excited to try your Kit Kat. We could, we time. could, uh, after this, we could pour some into a bowl of some milk and see how it goes. I don't want to waste it though. What if I don't like that? <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> this really is your favorite snack. <laughs> um, yeah. So Kit Kat, I guess, I guess the term Kit Kat goes back to the 18th century. <laughs> wow. There's a thing called Kit Kat Club. Wait, to the 18th, so the 1700s. So yeah. George Washington was walking around saying, what's up, my Kit Kat? No. Oh. I guess it was the Kit Kat Club or something, but it referred, I, I have no idea how the, I have no idea how this bridge between this and when they actually made these, to call it that. But they were meat pies, mutton pies is what they're. Wow. Did they, do you think they, they call, actually had cat in them? They very could. They, they called them mutton pies, so they probably don't want people to know what meat it was. Wow, um, that's fascinating. That puts a whole new spin on the Kit Kat. Yeah, it's a meat pie, but it's not. And so we have to see if that meat pie taste is carried through. <laughs> see if you can taste the meat flavor. I don't think there is any meat flavor. But, um, yeah, so I guess uh, it was launched in, like, 1935 in, 
well, York, UK, but I guess it would just be England back there. I don't really, back then. I don't really know the history of England very well, but I guess it was kind of like developed since the 1920s. Uh, but it wasn't okay. really a thing per se until 1935. That's when they kind of like started selling it. Um, and I guess the reason they're shaped like they are is the idea was uh, a quote that I found is is something that a man can take to work in his pack. And I don't really understand the connotation of that. Maybe like you can have, I it's like you can, a satchel. Yeah. I, but I mean, like, why would you, I don't, I mean, I guess yeah, you break off one stick so you can have more later or something. I don't really that's understand true. that. Something that would fit in his sack. I, you'd imagine that shacks are, stala. <laughs> Shalala. Shalala. <laughs> that sacks are pretty malleable in shape. So. Yeah. I don't really understand what that means. So I was like, maybe it's just cause like you can break off a piece and then have it later. That cause makes sense. obviously if you know anything about Kit Kats, which I would argue that most people do, the whole their whole argue or the whole campaign is like breaking a piece, break me off a piece. Uh, we don't want to get copyright infringement. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, no tune. <laughs> that's true. But if I say Kit Kat, they could copyright me. <laughs> this is a dicey legal world, and if, any, and if any lawyers out there are looking for some pro bono work, we uh, <laughs> We could use your help. Yeah, we're probably going to step in it at some point, so you might as well just hang out with us. Um, but it didn't come to the U.S. until 1970, which is kind of crazy. Really? Um, it took 40 years. Yeah. Um, and I guess, so Nestle bought the Roundtree company who started it, and now they make a billion bars per year. So that's why I'm pretty sure most people have heard about it. <laughs> Considering there's only 7 billion people. Yeah. I'm, I'm Hopefully, I'm not eating that many. Yeah. I might be eating like a quarter mil. I don't know, but not, not I mean, a billion. <laughs> um, but so it, it's really interesting though, because uh, Nestle makes them for everywhere else, but in the U S they're maybe at Hershey. Really? Cause it's not like Nestle isn't a company in the U S yeah, like they definitely have a presence here. Yeah. I guess it has something to do with some long, long standing contracts with round tree or whatever. I'm sure they get a royalty of it though. Well, they just manufacture it, so oh. they just Hershey makes some money at, okay. from it, but Nestle's still making most of the money. Uh, um, it's kind of like independent bottlers; they bottle Pepsi, but it, it's not Pepsi that's actually bottling it, which is super interesting. Hmm. Um, but anyway, one interesting thing about Kit Kats is you know everyone's used to just the normal Kit Kat, but like in Japan, they have some crazy flavors. They have uh, ginger ale, soy sauce, green tea, uh, sake, sake, sake. However, I say that. Uh, and banana, which I really want to try banana. Banana, that would be interesting. Yeah. Well, because you, it's like... Banana Laffy Taffy's were the best. Yeah. Well, it's or just kind of weird because you, you, you think like that wouldn't work, but it's like, I don't think it's chocolate in those. I think it's just like banana flavored stuff. <laughs> I don't know. We have to get our hands on some Japanese Kit Kats because... Yeah, I've, if we have any... Um, any hookups? Yeah, any hookups any in Japan. Connections? If you are a... What's it called when you are working for an American company, but in another country. Oh, I have no clue. Like a transplant. There's yeah. a specific word that has the letter X in it that I can't remember right now. Or if you know of any like random grocery stores in Utah that have this. Yeah. Let us know. Like, Cause we, we are based in Utah. We should say that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's true. That might have a, some sort of bearing on the snacks we have availability for, but I would love to do some really like, you know, interesting, weird snacks. Oh, please. Even if it's awful. Yeah. Like, just let that us know. Fun. We will. We would gladly do a snack that we know we're going to hate. Yeah, that'd be torturous, but also kind of fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, mostly in the U.S., I guess we have, like, the big cat. We have uh, the white Kit Kat, like, white chocolate and dark chocolate yeah. and normal. But I don't really see... There were some strawberry ones. I wonder if they still have them. Oh, I do remember those. Man, have you seen those big cats? Yeah, they're ridiculous. Could, they're like bricks. You could build a wall out of Kit Kats. That's a fact. Well, big, big cats. Big cats. Yeah. I mean, these wouldn't really work well for a while. Um, true. But which, which snack should we eat first? Should we eat yours because you introduced it first? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do so, it. I'm excited to try these. One thing I do love about the packaging on this snack, mm -hmm. it's resealable. That's pretty nice. That makes a huge difference. Well, it seems like, I mean, it seems like there's a good amount in there too. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have the extra air because like every yeah. food does, but it you don't feel like you're getting skimped on it. Yeah. Well, and then I always feel like with things like this, I always end up eating like the whole thing because I'm like, well, I don't want to put it in a plastic. I don't want to like put it in a Ziploc bag or something. And the people at Hershey 
The thought about it. <laughs> All right, Carson. I can already okay. kind of smell it. Can you? And I haven't really opened it. Oh wow! Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty strong smell. It is a strong smell. Wow. It smells like hot chocolate, kind of. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's a great. It does smell. Do you like think hot it smells like chocolate? chocolate? It absolutely does. Oh, cool. I, it's probably the same little marshmallows that are. Oh, yeah. Which I should say, those marshmallows make this thing tough. Like, it's called the S'mores Cruncher, and they are not lying about the crunch. Really? Okay. Yeah, I got to say, just like, I got to say, these clusters are actually surprisingly a little bit bigger than I expected. Yeah. What do you I think? I see that. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're not huge by any means, but I thought on Well, the- I think, like, here, let me pull this one out. You got a particularly big one, like this guy. I'm not sure. They they vary in size. So, what are your impressions? I mean, you can hear that crunch through the microphone. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but <laughs> I know you're. I, I can see that you've like really backed away from that. <laughs> but yeah, they are called crunchers for a reason. Yeah, they they are. So, if you have soft teeth, don't eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe consult a dentist first. <laughs> if you have soft teeth, honestly, that's not a bad idea. And you know what? If worst case scenario. You just brought your dentist a nice snack. He there you like. go. You can say, why don't you try these with me? And then next thing you know, uh, I'm you start this in my mouth because it's melting in my fingers. Oh, geez. Next thing you know, you have a podcast with your dentist and you guys are best friends. And, uh, I don't know. Everyone, everyone could use another friend. I well, love my dentist. I'm <laughs> friends with him. I would I, eat, I would eat snacks on the regular with my dentist. If, if my dentist needed some extra pocket money. And started a <laughs> podcast with me. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm sure dentists are just needing that extra pocket money. <laughs> you never know. I mean, I've heard that most dental students walk out of college with like a million dollars in debt after they set up their practice. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to say, because I was like, that seems kind of hard to, or high just for school. But if they have to like actually build a practice and they're building I mean, when, a building too. When, when school is like $600,000. But anyway, are we a dental podcast? <laughs> no, I don't reckon we are. I believe we're a snack podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Snacks, snacks, snacks. But snacks on snacks on snacks. Snacks on stacks. No, not stacks. Anyway. Snacks on slacks? <laughs> snacks on snacks. Um, no, but I mean, we could become a dental podcast in like 10 years after we eat all these snacks and our teeth are just gone. But You know what? If that's what the people want, if you guys want us to be a dental <laughs> podcast, I'll go to dental school. I'm You're, almost done with my bachelor's. Yeah, I can make that You have some work. free time. You know, we're, we're here for the people. <laughs> you guys can dictate my life. I don't think you understand wow. how much power you have over me. This is incredible. If you're like one of the first people, you're going to you're gonna be our friends for life. Absolutely. Um, but we are a snack podcast, and the snack that I just had was very good, actually. Yeah? Um, yeah, it kind of has like, it tastes like hot chocolate in a way. Like, I don't know, it's like the chocolate, but I think with the marshmallows, I think the combination somehow makes it taste kind of like hot I- chocolate. I think so, too. And I mean, for me, hot chocolate leaves an awful um, aftertaste. I think part of it Mm. is because it's burning off some of the skin. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. It's always too hot. And then then you get to the point where it's cool enough to drink, but then it's like... Then it's just gritty. It's a little too cool, yeah. Yeah, but I think this leaves a decent aftertaste. I mean, if you let it go for too long, I could see it. No? Turning. I can still taste a little bit of something that's still treating me well. But, yeah, I, I think... Calling it hot chocolate is a perfect description. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird because it smelled like it, but I wasn't expecting it to taste like it. It's but, summertime hot chocolate. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's room temperature chocolate. Or cocoa, depending on... Cacao. C- no, not cacao. Cacao. Cocoa. <laughs> cacao. Um, dude, I'm going to buy that. I'm glad. I That how was my that, hope. How much did that put you back? So this is a point of contention to me. Okay, okay. So maybe it's not the perfect snack. It might not be the perfect <laughs> snack. I should I should say. So when I buy it at my local gas station, it costs four ninety nine before tax. Okay. Now that's pretty steep. I mean, it's a big bag. Yeah. Let's see how many ounces it is. Six and a half ounces. I don't know what that means, but it feels like a lot. <laughs> But that's kind of true. It's like, are they weighing the air? There's a lot of air in there, but it's less than a dollar an ounce. Okay. So, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. But, like, five bucks is still kind of a lot. Yeah. However. For college students, you know. I mean, I have a full-time job. That's true. I have a a borderline (laughs) full-time job. But five dollars is still a... 
Five dollars. Well, and, and it's all relative, right? Because yeah. for for a snack, it's kind of a lot. But five dollars for like something you need, like five dollars for something for dinner, is like okay, who cares? Like, yeah, it's dinner. You need dinner. No, it, buying it through a gas station is expensive. However, if you buy it from Walmart, I I drove to Walmart specifically to see this because I really. I guys, he's dedicated. Like I had to do my research since there's zero history on this. That's true. You're gonna write the book. You're, you should send an email to Hershey, or you should call the number on there and talk. I to think them. it's more Maverick's problem than Hershey's. Hmm. But anyway, living in Podunk area and like Maverick being the only thing that's even close, I could see that having an effect on the yeah. price. Yeah. However, at Walmart, it's only two ninety eight. Okay. Okay. It's almost half price. That's crazy. So. If you, you are gotta, getting it you at stock Maverick, up. yeah, don't. If you're getting it at Walmart, though, you could, I think it's a pretty good value. Yeah. I mean, that's like 50 cents an ounce. Yeah, that's so, pretty good. And like, yeah. I had, like, and, and to be clear, I've had like one cluster, and that that, that went pretty well for me. I'm glad. I, it I'm doesn't, really happy that you enjoyed it. <laughs> I kind of wanted, didn't want, I kind of wanted to not enjoy it so that we could be like bashing heads. Start some drama. Yeah. But, no, it's pretty good. I, I really like it. Good. <laughs> the well, only thing I don't like about it is now I have to buy some because it's good. I know. And I should say, <laughs> at this point, the aftertaste is starting to turn negative for me. That's true. But, but if I mean, you have some water or milk, it's great. Oh, that sounds really good. But I, I feel like at any point, if you eat something and you don't eat anything for long enough, I feel like after like a certain amount of time, it's going to end up being bad either way. Yeah. But I, I bet with these... I bet with these we're going to have the same problem with Kit I Kat. I think you might be right. So we'll have to see. Um, Kit Kat? I mean, I'll kind of like... Well, I guess these are made by Hershey's. It, that's, that's funny that we both picked a Hershey product. Well, so it says, distributed by Hershey Company under license from Nestle. That's so interesting. I would have never... I, I've always thought this was just Hershey. I would have never thought of Nestle. I never would have kept. Which is really that. interesting because Nestle's letting them do that. That makes me wonder if there are more products out there like that. That's true. I kind of like that we dug into the history a little bit because... I know. I think that's a good segment. I think yeah, that'll... I like it. Yeah. You can have your own. Oh. I, I, brought, so... I, brought, I, brought, I brought two. You have to realize I bought mine at Maverick and I wasn't about to spend 10 bucks <laughs> on, on well, the first podcast. I mean, yours is pretty shareable, so... That's true. Um, that is what I don't. I, I don't want to get my hand all over your all over your Kit Kat. Okay. So you keep talking while I take a big bite okay. into this. I'm still messing with the packaging mm. here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's interesting too. We, we both went straight for like kind of a candy or a chocolate because mm -hmm. like snacks can be so many things, so uh, many, things. including chips. Like I, I think like chips is like the most like when I hear snack, I think of chip, but it's not like what I went with. I think you could classify a like a Happy Meal at McDonald's as a snack. That's true. If it's small enough, if oh. I'm in a hurry. Carson, I'm really glad you brought Kit Kats. Really? I gotta say, <laughs> it just feels like coming home. <laughs> it's just so familiar. Yeah. You look at that Kit Kat, you know exactly what you're gonna get, and mm -hmm. you are feeling it. So, man, flipping Kit Kat. Yeah, who would Who would have thought? I, I thought for a little bit about it, and I was just like, I think I just have to do this. But it's interesting, it's kind of like, I was just in Europe, and it's like, I think that's one of the reasons McDonald's is so successful, and like, we were on the road, and we are like, let's just stop at McDonald's, because we know what we're going to get, we know what the experience is going to be like, and it just, it seems familiar. And that's how Kit Kat is. You know, I told myself I'd only take one bite, and the second I heard, felt like you were going to be talking for a little bit, <laughs> You're like, hey. I raced over to that Kit Kat <laughs> to get some more. Yeah, you've said it quite far away from yourself. It's strategic. <laughs> Trying to keep it out of, out of your face. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, thank you. That, I think, I'm, that, I'm glad that there was a lot of history. I enjoyed learning that. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because there's things like that that you think, oh, it's just like Hershey. They just made it. But a lot of these snacks were just, they're from like little family companies that were, mm -hmm. uh, you know, acquired by a bigger company. And so they have their own little history, which is really cool. Yeah, that's cool. And it's kind of interesting that, like, uh, like I think the guy who created Fritos also created Doritos, and that's why they're named like that. But he was, like, an individual. He wasn't just, like, working for Lay's or whoever owns them. But now hmm. they're both owned. So it's just kind of cool. That is cool. Well, I have to ask you about Kit Kats. Okay. One, one thing. 
How do you eat it? Do you? I think in my mind, there's three ways to eat Kit Kat. Oh, that's true. One of you, one of them, you're a monster. Is it Another this? one. Is it this? We, oh, oh, don't. He, <laughs> he just took a big old bite out of the whole thing without breaking them apart. That is the monster way. <laughs> then there's the normal way. As soon as you said that, I had, a, I had a good idea of what that would be. There's the normal way of just breaking it apart and mm-hmm. then just eating it down the, down the line. Mm-hmm. Now, the third way, it's unconventional. Okay, I'm not actually sure. I'm trying to think of what the third way is. The, is the third way like this? <laughs> no, it's not inserting the entire bar <laughs> sideways and having to open your mouth like a snake. No, the third way is you kind of nibble around the edges and peel off that little thing of chocolate oh, holding little, it together. It's like a little nub. Mm-hmm. And then you are left with the top of chocolate, the bottom of chocolate, and the wafers. And then you just kind of eat it down the line. You just eat each individual wafer. Wow. Yeah, that's how my wife does it. It takes her like three minutes to eat one <laughs> stick. That's incredible. It is. We need to have her on. <laughs> <Can't say. laughs> Come eat one of these. Show us how it's done. Like, no, that's incredible. Yeah. And I'm surprised. Uh, it's kind of funny that like I picked this snack and you just like happen to have this third way that I've never even heard of. Because you said snacks. <laughs> I'm sure there's thousands of ways to eat a Kit Kat because that's the beauty of snacks. That's true. It's It's part of who you are. It, it is. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think my phone. Bling. Yo, my phone just went off too. Is the same people talking to us? No, my uh, my wife just texted me from the other room saying, "Why are you calling me?" <laughs> I should answer that. But, uh, my um, wife just texted us our address. Oh, she's in a group chat. I thought my <laughs> wife just texted me at my address. I'm like, yeah, hun, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Learning yeah. stuff. But yeah. Uh, so um, anyway. I think in the interest of keeping this, the snack-sized podcast. Yes. By snack-sized podcast, we're trying to keep it under 30 minutes, Around which we probably there. failed. But this is the first episode. We have to introduce the concept. Yeah, that's true. Well, and also, think, like, you don't want to, like, if, if things are vibing, you don't want to, like, rush it, or cut it off, you know? That's true. I mean, you can't, if you got stuff to say, you got stuff to say. Yeah, that's true. There's a surprisingly amount of, surprising amount of things to say about this, too. I know, but I... I really don't think people want to hear a three-hour discussion about a very specific snack. If you do, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's exactly what people need. Maybe that's the uh, you know the uh, maybe that's the hole in the market in this podcast game. Yeah, or maybe that's the hole in the country. Uh, everyone needs to get you know more Unified united. You know, yeah. everyone can get together with their friends and. Gather around the fire and listen to three hours of history about Kit Kats. You know, I think a lot of people listening to us right now are weeping because they hate that idea so much. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were going to be touched. They're like, this sounds amazing. Well, let us know. Yeah, that's Snack, true. Snack the letter N as in Nigeria, <laughs> slack at gmail.com. And realize slack, that's not about pants. That's about slacking around. You're That's just true. chilling. We should clarify that. That's true. Because basically we're looking for an excuse to eat and do nothing. Yeah. And and I just happen to have a microphone. So here we are. Well, I mean, how could we be slacking if we went out and bought a microphone for this? That's true. I already had it. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we would, yeah, if this required any effort, we wouldn't do it. That's a lie. Is, but, that, the, is that the perfect storm? I think that's... Yeah. They're the perfect storm. That's beautiful. Anyways, should we uh, should we rank these snacks? Should we give we them should. a rating? Okay. Okay. Do you want to explain the rating system? Yes. So we have, we call it the craveability composite score or just craveability score. Whatever. I like composite. Yeah. I, I like the, what is that called when you have like C, C, C? Alliteration. Alliteration. I always say that wrong. So I figured I'd. Farm it some, out. I, I get some help. <laughs> yeah. I would outsource that word in the conversation. So we're going to be grading value. We're going to be like how much it costs versus how much we think it's, it's actually worth okay. to us. Okay. Uh, aftertaste. And I, I'm kind of noticing that the Kit Kat kind of does have uh, the same type of aftertaste. I think just if you just have an aftertaste in your mouth long enough, it just kind of yeah, I think doesn't right. go well. I don't think we'll it's, give it a, like a, a minute time span on that. How yeah, that? I think that's fair. Yeah, because um, mouths just taste gross. I'm like always yeah, chewing brush, gum. Yeah, brush your teeth and stuff, yeah. Um, and then the texture, which is interesting because that's such a big part of it. I don't yes, really think about and that. These two snacks are wildly different textures considering that they're both chocolate based. I think so. Yeah. And I mean, 
and even though they're kind of similar textures, but they're different. I don't know. Um, and then taste, obviously, is is somewhat important in snacks. And the appearance. No, the appearance. Does that include the packaging, or are we just doing, if you just saw this laying out on a table? I think the packaging, because I think the appearance is... I think a lot of thought goes into the the packaging. That's true. My appearance is wildly different clothed from naked. It's That's wildly true. different appearance and much more appealing one way. <laughs> you decide. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think, uh, I think a lot of thought goes into the packaging and like when you're walking down the aisle, they're all like trying to like get your attention. Yeah. So I think, I, I think that's definitely part of it. Yeah. We definitely need to keep that in there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's like maybe not so important, but it's it's something to consider. I think so. I do think it should be left in there. Now, we're going to create a Google Doc and let people come in and re- re- and see these scores so they can see what the best snack in the game is. Yeah, I mean, cuz what we say is gospel, so it's it's you can't compete or you can't like argue with it, so don't try. Yeah. But I mean, it's a good <laughs> It's a good guidepost to tell you what kind of snag you should go and get. Look, we're doing this for you guys. We don't have to do this. Yeah. (laughs) We're doing it for like the four people that are going to listen to this. Yeah. All four of you, we care about you. And that's true because we probably know you by name and you're probably related to us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So we're not just, we're not just, uh, you know, making that up. All right. I'm going to type something out here. Okay. Actually, do you have a pen? If we can just write it down, that'd be less noisy, I imagine. You know, I did have a pen, but I don't know if I do anymore. I... Well, anyway, let me explain. So we're each going to give it a score based on 1 through 10 on all five of those categories, which once again are value, aftertaste, texture, taste, and appearance. Mm-hmm. And so in the end, there will be a score of 100. For it. It'll be weighted equally, my 50 out of his, and his 50, and Carson just took a bite of a Kit Kat right as I was finishing up my sentence, so I have to stall on this a little bit. No, I can't talk. <laughs> but anyway, we think that'll we think that's going to be something nice that'll help out the the listener too. Yeah, in their there, snack exploration. There are a lot of snacks out there. There are there, so we're many only snacks. alive for so many years. This might have to be an everyday occurrence. <laughs> I don't think we'd get through them all. Never, physically couldn't. Especially once you start getting into like that cricket. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I think we should. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do. Should I start? I'm going to start. Okay. I'm going to start with Kit Kat. Okay. You're going to do your Kit Kat. Let me, I'm going to type this out. Okay. I think, you know, I think, well, I did get another snack with this, but it's not, it's not, it's time to shine because this was a, like buy three, buy three for $3 or whatever. So I did get another one, but. This, it's not its time, so maybe maybe that will come back another day. Oh, man, you're, you're teasing me. <laughs> you don't get a no. Oh, I'll probably show you in a second. Um, anyway, I, so it's like a dollar a piece. I think that's okay. I mean, it's like a gas station, but I think on value, I'll just give it a six. It's like probably cheaper other places, but like if you're getting a Kit Kat, I feel like most of the time you are getting it at a gas station. That's um, fair. I feel like that's where I consume most uh, candy bars. I think aftertaste is like a nine. I mean, it's there, it's present, it's good, but it's not like a bad thing ever, really. Okay, and that's with the one minute timeline. Yeah, and like after like ten minutes, you're like, okay, I just need something else. I need to brush my teeth or something. Um, texture, I really, really like the texture on Kit Kats because it's like kind of crunchy, but it's not like too crunchy. I, I could not agree more. And, like, it's not hard, I guess is what I mean. It's soft, but it also has, like, you can feel it kind of breaking, which is so satisfying. So I'm going to give that an 8 on texture. An 8 on texture. Wow, this is... I mean, there's a reason this episode is titled Our Favorites. Yeah, and I'm not trying I'm not trying to go overboard, because there's definitely other snacks. That, and that's the thing, like, you know, as we eat more snacks, maybe the criteria will be more refined, and it'll... And maybe we'll go back and change these. That's true. That's the beauty of a Google Doc. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, taste... I'm going to go with seven, which seems kind of weird. Uh, maybe seems kind of low even, but I mean, there's, there's other candy bars. I think I like that taste more. I think Kit Kat, one of my favorite candy bars, just cause it kind of has everything. Like it has, 
Yeah. It's really good in a lot of categories. It's not a standout in one thing and a slacker in the rest. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let's see. Appearance. I don't know. It's like, it's cool. It's classic. It they're, not changing, they're not changing the game, though. They're, yeah. they're sticking with the formula it's that just, works. Yeah, and when you see it, you know what it is. Yeah. And I read that during World War II, I think they changed to blue. Wow, that's unappetizing. Yeah. I think red's one of the appetizing colors. Yeah. Um, so if you want to learn something, you can look that up because I can't remember why. So I'm no help. Um, but they changed to the blue and then they changed back to red. I think it's because there aren't many natural blue flu- blue foods. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Now, this isn't the History Channel. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> no. so I, I don't know. What's your final I'm just going to give it a six. It's like six. it doesn't. It doesn't really blow me away. It's not like anything extravagant, but it's pretty classic and pretty, I don't know. Okay. So, oh, whoops. So, I'm going to do my Kit Kat score now. Okay. So, value. How much did you pay for this again? It ended up with the deal being like a dollar a piece, basically. You know, a dollar a piece. That's pretty good. But I feel like it should be 70 cents. I feel like that... Maybe at the grocery store it is. Yeah, I feel like that would put it in the like great value range. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give that a seven. Because you're not getting a whole lot for that dollar. No. No. I mean, if, well, and the other thing too is I'm trying to eat this slow. Usually I just demolish the thing in 30 seconds. It's yeah, starting to melt like though. A monster. But it's starting to melt though. <laughs> oh, that too. Oh. So ah. now I have to eat the rest of it before it just becomes a puddle. All right. So. Um, taste. No, wait. Aftertaste is the next section. For aftertaste. It was pleasant. It was pleasant. <laughs> Given that a nine. Oh wow! And, and that that might change. That's true. For texture, it's just smooth. Just slides right down your gullet. <laughs> <laughs> such a good, such a good descriptor. <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost too smooth. Oh. You know, if Kit Kat was at a bar talking to my wife, I'd be worried because of how smooth it is. Especially for what it is. So I think that loses some points. I'm giving it a six. Okay. Interesting. But you agreed with me. That what? Is that, that was score? It? No. Yeah. What did I say? I said, said eight. eight. I guess that's not too big of a discrepancy. No. I thought it was a bigger discrepancy. It's 20%. It's the difference between a B and a D. That kind of sounds worse. (laughs) (laughs) That does sound like a bigger discrepancy. Never mind. Continue. (laughs) All right. Taste. I can't give it lower than a nine. I'm debating a 10, but I can't give a 10 to our first thing because it feels biased. That's true. I'm giving it a nine. We're we're, we're excited. You know, we're excited. So who knows? I I told you before that the value or an aftertaste or whatever might change. That taste isn't changing. That That's taste true. score staying. That's true. I can see that. Appearance. I'm going to pass right over it looking at that. In the candy aisle, my eyes are just going to go right past it because it's not It's not original. Well, I mean, it is original. But, but it's not like... It's not, a, it's not it's like not super popping. unique. Yeah, it's not... And maybe it's because we're so familiar with it that that's kind of... Yeah. I it's like classic, right. but that could be one of its cons, right? Because you yeah. just, and there's a Kit Kat, blah, blah, blah. And then you see that Hershey's put out some s'mores thing. You're like, what in the world is that shiny package over there that I've never seen before? Shiny black package. Yeah. Um, I think, but I think it earns a five because it's not off-putting. Mm-hmm. If it was off-putting, it'd be lower. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's not hurting, not helping. Yeah. So let's hear your score Kay. on the crunch. Let's see. Um, I got to say value. Should we go by value by Walmart? Yeah, because this feels more like a Walmart thing. Yeah, because... Like a gas is, station is like you're trying to eat it in one go. Yeah, this but, is... I agree. Yeah. So, for that price at Walmart, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'd say like seven. Seven. It's not like incredible. Um, I just realized this is a laptop and I can bring it here instead of... That's incredible. That's that's a, that's a ten. That's true. Modern <laughs> innovation. We give that a ten. You can move a laptop. Instead of bending over every time someone says a score. That's true. Man, I love this. I love the modern world. Um, Aftertaste, I'll go like a seven. Okay. It's just kind of, it's good. It's present. Okay. I feel like, 
I feel like it starts to taste, it starts to have more of a negative impact or negative aftertaste faster than the Kit Kat. That's so true. Okay. Yeah. Am I, I I'm crazy? No, you're okay. spot on there. Okay. That's interesting. Although it might be a different game with a glass of milk. That's true. I feel like both of these would go with a glass of milk. Oh, dude, Every time I have chocolate, a glass of milk right <laughs> I know it sounds so good. <laughs> we should record this in the kitchen just so we can easily access things like that. Uh, I really do like the texture. It's a little like, at first I was like, this is too crunchy. And then I was like, nah, it's really good. I'm going to give it a nine. What if you have, oh, you're going to be giving it a nine? Yeah. I really. But if you have soft teeth, discount that to a <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah. Consult your dentist. And we've already been over this. You know what to do. <laughs> um, taste, I thought it was really good. I'm going to say eight. Oh, that pleases me. <laughs> it's so weird, right? I mean, you have something you like and you want people to like it too. And I wonder what the psychology behind that. I wonder if it's because of validation or you're just excited and you want them to be excited. I think it strengthens the community. Wow. And it's a social aspect because we're social creatures. I, I, I could totally see that being the case. Yeah. Totally. Anyway, <coughs> appearance. Me. Now this, we need to rem remember, it's not just about the packaging. That's true. That's true. I think true. we might we have strayed of, a little bit on the Kit Kat. That's true. I stand by my score. Yeah, I think I still scored it accordingly. But um, the appearance, I really like the appearance because it reminds me of those quad hopper things that I used to have. It's a nostalgic thing for you. A little bit. It's a but not... Because Kit Kat's nostalgic, but it's like common still. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, those, exclusive to those Claude Hoppers, they existed for a while there and they went back went away and they actually just came back out with them like a year ago and I found them and I like went crazy over them, but I haven't seen them since. Hmm. Um I think they look pretty good. I like how they can be different pieces. You can kind of pick through and find what type of piece you want. That's true. You got a small <laughs> mouth, you can break it apart. <laughs> That's true. Keep break keep breaking it Kit down. Cats talk about being the breakable candy i mean that's because they are yeah but. but they're i mean they break straight down the line but these can break any way they're three-dimensional objects i mean okay kit kats are as well yeah but you can't like you can't fillet a kit kat very easily <laughs> i could get onto autocad right now or solidworks more likely and i could make a kit kat yeah you i couldn't do that with a cruncher no you can't make it it's like a random computer generated model you can't you can't just do that uh, so I think appearance, I, I just say seven. I think it's pretty good. Can't yeah, complain. I stand by that. You should pull out a calculator because I don't want to do this math in my head and That's true. come out like an idiot. I'll do it in the background while you start talking. Okay. Um, here. So uh, I am going, dang, that's just slightly too spaced out. Let me see if I can zoom out on here. Can't just, zoom out. Okay. That's fine. Anyway. The Hershey's S'mores Crunch. Value at Walmart. It's a seven. Because two ninety eight sounds so cheap because of that two. But that's three dollars. Yeah. Three dollars is a changes it. That's very true. But I don't feel like it's o overpriced at three dollars. No, I think it's pretty good. Um aftertaste. It starts to degenerate really quick. So for aftertaste, I'm going to give that a Six. Wow. And I think that might be high. I think that might be high. Wow. And this is my favorite snack. Yeah, no, that's so interesting, right? Because it's like a snack you really like, but then you're like, I just like it, but you've never sat down and been like, well, how do I feel about the specific aspect of it? Yeah. It's true. Maybe there is no perfect snack. That's true. Taste. Oh, I want to break my rule and give it a 10, but it's a nine. Because. Okay. A 10, it's hard to say, like, a 10, I feel like, is almost the perfect taste for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure we'll ever find a 10. Yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe. That's the mission. That is the whole goal. We want to find a 50 on the individual score and a 100 on the combined. Yeah. That seems very unlikely, but... <laughs> Especially because I feel like we just both like different things. Yeah. I did just blow over texture. Skipped it. Went straight to taste. So going back to texture... Mm-hmm. It's a cruncher. Its whole thing is texture. It's a nine. That's true. They, they That's what they marketed it as. Yeah. And then appearance. It's innovative. It's bold. But it's not 
good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, it's not bad. It's not like, wow. Wow, I gotta try that because it looks this way. Exactly. I'm going to give it a 7. Same as you. Interesting. So. So we need to find out what our total scores are. All right, so something kind of unexpected has happened, you know. And with all these individual variables, we we graded each uh, each Segment, attribute, section. yeah, like taste and whatever, differently. Uh, but Kit Kat, we both ended up with thirty six, giving like, us a total of seventy two. So with whizzes out. There. Oh, that's incredible. That's what's that's a C. Yeah, <laughs> if it's a grade. Well, and it's so weird because it's I, hard to see it as a grade because I mean seventy two is still. Pretty good. I assume it's still pretty good. Yeah, I guess we'll find out as we do more snacks. But Yeah, maybe these aren't our favorite snacks. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know a snack. Yeah. Uh, they have 36 for both of us. Yeah, so I wonder 72. if we're going to be judging it less harshly as time goes on. Maybe. Yeah, and I think I think we're a little afraid to like be like, here's our snack, and it's the first thing we're doing, and we're excited, and here's 100, you know, but yeah. that's not going to happen, obviously. So that's good, at least, that we're not just like jumping the gun. Yeah, so that is interesting that we both got 36, but what's more interesting <laughs> is that we both got 38 for Crunch. Same story, each section got different scores. Yeah. Kind of seems like fabricated, in, but that's actually what happened. <laughs> yeah, that ended at a 76. Yeah, so. so I guess Crunch is better than Kit Kat. I wonder if that's because it's novelty. It's new. That's true. It's exciting. It's super fresh. It's super fresh. But yeah. So thank you guys for listening. Yeah. Um, I mean, this podcast seems like it's maybe a little bit longer than the other ones, but we, we do have two snacks. It's true. So. The rest will only be one, and we're going to work on shortening that. <laughs> you know, maybe people really do want to hear us talk for three hours. Let us know. We I might, do. We might be. I, I like, do. yeah, I think when this is over, we'll stop hitting record and we'll just continue to sit here and just talk for three hours. I would love that. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and let us know. Actually, if you hated it, let us know as well. We have a Gmail. It's snackandslack at gmail.com. And also we have an Instagram under the same name. Uh, come over and let us know what you thought and drop us some suggestions for what we should talk about next.